Two people were killed when the car rammed into the U.S. side of the border crossing at high speed on Wednesday morning, closing the bridge on the eve of Thanksgiving, one of the busiest travel days of the year. The crash was caught on surveillance cameras along the U.S.-Canada crossing. The CCTV footage, which has since been spread across social media, shows the vehicle speeding up before being launched into the air, crashing into a checkpoint and violently exploding. The pair were said to have just left a casino near the border ahead of a KISS concert in Toronto, which was later cancelled when frontman Paul Stanley was taken ill. One agent with Customs and Border Patrol suffered minor injuries in the crash. He was treated in hospital and has been released. The explosive nature of the crash had initially sparked speculations that the vehicle may have been loaded with some sort of explosives and was being used in a terrorist attack on the Customs and Border Patrol building. However, police have reportedly found no trace of explosives in the car, while New York Governor Kathleen Hochul has dismissed rumors of foul play, stating that the two victims are believed to have been local residents and that terrorism was unlikely, as there have been no indication based on online threats or anyone taking credit for this.